Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to part three of our cozy boho cardi crochet along. In today's uh, crochet along, we are going to be doing the join as you go to make the armhole for our cardi and also going around the neck to make the collar. So that is so exciting. I just want to apologize in advance. I have moved my tutorial workstation into uh, the main house, so hopefully I can do tutorials more often and with ease in the middle of the night when the kids aren't bugging me, etc., etc. But the setup was not optimal for sound and light. It looked okay on the camera, but when I went to edit it, not how we need it to be. So just bear with me for this this part of the crochet along and we'll do the sleeve in the next uh, part with the sound and lighting how we like it to be. So thanks so much everybody. So let's get started. So I have made my square as big as I want it to be. It's actually a smudge bigger because I wanted to end uh, with the collar and the cuffs being this gray color. So I stopped two rows before. This light blue is going to be the joining color. So I could have stopped anywhere in here, but I kept going. So I'll just measure. That's loud, isn't it? So that is about one meter or 100 centimeters or about 39 inches and it's also 36 rows so the next row we're going to do for joining that's both my my edges so get your trusty stitch markers out and we're going to start by lining up our corners so this is our folded edge. There's my stitch marker we just did. So you're going to count all along here, all the way up. So you can either count or you can just kind of wiggle your stitches together. I am just going to kind of wiggle my stitches together. I want them just to line up. So I'm going to go all the way up. The number doesn't matter. What matters is how many we're leaving when we get to here. I'm just walking my fingers and pinching each of those double crochets together. Okay, so these two are at the very end, so I'm just going to put a stitch marker right into the very center, which is right there for me, so I don't lose it. Now we're going to count back. 20. So that is one, those two double crochets. So one, two, and 20. So poke that one into the 20th pair. So that's 40 stitches that, we're, that we have separated. And you can just make sure if you line it all up again that you are equal, and we are. So we're gonna do that exact thing on the other sleeve. So get that corner lined up and then walk your fingers. And then count back your 20 and put your stitch marker in. So we have both of our um, edges put together where we're going to be joining. On this back side I am going to put in red stitch markers or any color, just a different color, just to tell yourself where you have to slow down. Oops. And I'm putting them separate. I'm putting one into each piece. And at this join, I'm putting one in the front and I'm putting one in the back. So those are where we're going to be joining together. And these ones at the very end, they're just going to sit there just to make sure. If we're counting out again, we know where, our, where the very seam is. So that, that's just there like for backup. We don't actually need it. And now these ones in the front, 
or you know this top sleeve I'm gonna do the same so I'm just gonna like that so now we can open it up we're good good to go and into this corner where we have our stitch marker actually I've got to turn my work don't I so I'm going into the back oh. so my macaroni is facing up so that stitch marker can go put your hook into that corner space on the side with the non alarming color stitch markers and join your yarn same as usual I just did it with both strands so this tail goes up to the top but you can join your yarn however you want and this row I'm just going into the next stitch and we're just gonna work our way around so when we get to this stitch with the stitch marker you make your stitch and then move it up to the stitch you just made so take out your stitch marker and put it into that stitch that you just made And I'll keep going to the next. The center one, we'll do the same thing. Just hold it to the side, take it out, put it in the stitch you just made. So I've worked along, I've gotten past my first stitch marker, my second stitch marker, that's our center. And my next stitch is going to be the third stitch marker. So this is when we're going to fold our work so we can make our sleeve and do our join. So we're going to fold it in half like this and now how I like to do my join as you go get all my yarn out of the way I like to fold this one down so I can go into the, into the proper side, into the pretty side. So I kind of get it folded like that so I can kind of line it up and see where I'm going. So fold your work, get it behaving, something like that, and I'm just going to zoom in. So into the stitch with that stitch marker, I'm making my double crochet. And now into the stitch with the other stitch marker, I'm just going to put my hook in. Let me get my yarn on the right side. I'm going to put my hook in down from the top, pull my yarn a bit. I'm just wrapping it on my hook wrapping it around my hook and turning my hook and I'm going to bring it up into that stitch and slip stitch to join. So now I can take out my stitch markers. Done with those. You could have taken them out before. I just wanted to show you how they line up. So now all the way down this side until we get to the end we're going to join. So this is now our armhole we just made and now we're doing the up to our well we're joining it now so double crochet into the next stitch like always like usual and this is the other part we're doing now is we're putting our hook down into the next double crochet that we already did the light blue round or the our previous stitches we're just going to put our hook down into that stitch, grab our yarn from underneath, and you just turn your hook, just give it a little spin, bring it up, and slip stitch to join. So double crochet into the, in, on the row that we're still working on, and slip, slip stitch from the top, so put your hook down into the next stitch that we already finished, turn your hook to grab your yarn, bring it up and slip stitch to join. Into the next one, make your double crochet. Into the top, the top stitch, the next stitch we already finished. So I've worked into that one. 
So this one is our next. So put your hook down into the stitch, grab your yarn and bring it back, slip stitch to join. Double crochet into the next stitch where we're working. Put your hook down into the next stitch, slip stitch to join. Double crochet into the row we're building. Slip stitch into the next double crochet we already finished. Double crochet down, slip stitch up. Double crochet down, slip stitch up. So we're doing this all the way along. If it's tricky for you, you can just do this, this entire row and then just sew it together if that's easier for you. But I find this is faster because all you're doing is adding a slip stitch at the top. You're doing your double crochet and then slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch. Uh, and it goes up really quick, to be honest with you. So keep going, doing this all the way to the, to the corner. I'll show you how to do that. When you get to the end, don't panic if it doesn't line up. The one that you're working on is going to be shorter, shorter than the one you've already done because you built that corner. So don't panic, just keep going. To the corner, one into each stitch. So that was the last stitch of my blue, of my the one I need to join. So now I'm working into the corner. And if you check up, I just finished the last one and I'll be working into the corner. So start your corner, join to your corner, which is top of that chain three. I'm going to slip stitch right into there like usual. And double crochet into the corner. Now when I joined, I should have done, I, I started doing a small corner, just one double crochet. I should have put two into this corner. So I'm going to fix that when I come around to join. So now I've done my two double crochets. I'm going to chain one and just kind of spin your work. We're done joining now. Now we're just going to whiz along this edge. So we can take out our stitch marker. And now along this edge, we're just going to finish. So two more double crochets. Oh, the sun has come out. How nice. Didn't wrap my yarn. Awesome. Two double crochets into this corner. One, two. And now one into each stitch all along this side. Same as always. And I'll meet you when we get over to the corner. So line up your edge again and just make sure, line up your double crochets all the way back. And you can see on mine, I'm off by a stitch. So let me see. I'll count back 20. One, two, 20. So it's this guy that's wrong, the top one. I gotta move him over one stitch. So that's always good to count before we start our joining or before we do our next row. So we are just really, really sure. And you can count again if you want or separate them to make sure that that is bang on where it needs to be. So now keep going. I'll meet you when you get to your stitch marker. So into the corner, we can take that stitch marker out. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So now you're going to keep working along this side until your first stitch marker. When you get to your stitch marker, 
double crochet into that same stitch and move your stitch marker up. And keep going. The center stitch marker, same thing, double crochet right into the same stitch and move that stitch marker up. Just into that stitch we just made. And keep going to the last stitch marker. So now at the next stitch marker, this is when we have to get everything laid out and fold it again. So I'm going to fold it in half. So my center one is the center. And my red ones should be lining up. Get it all ready. Okay. Now I have it lined up. Now I want to fold this top one down a bit. So I can go in to the top of those stitches, just like we did before. So into my, I'm going to join the red stitch markers basically. So I'm making a double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker where I'm working and then into the stitch that has the stitch marker I'm putting my hook down of the row of the round of the stitches we already did. Grabbing my yarn, bringing it up, and slip stitching. So now this is a join right where both of those stitch markers are. Both of those stitch markers have, are joined. So I finished with the stitch markers. Pop those out. Now we're going to join all the way along here. So double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch that's on top. Double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch to the next stitch on top. And we're going to work all the way back to the bottom of this row or the end of this row. And I'll meet you over there. When we get to the corner, just keep going one into each and remember to make your corner so one double crochet join it one more double crochet and this goes into the space slip stitch into that space that counts as your chain one for your corner and now two more double crochets into your corner space, no more joining. We can turn our work a bit, rotate it, take our stitch marker out, and we're done the hard bit. So that was everything. You can put a stitch marker here and try it on. I'm just going to finish it up and I'll meet you over here where I will fix that corner. Remember where I didn't put um, a double crochet into that corner. So I'll meet you when we get over there. So into the corner, two double crochets. Into the corner space of the other row, other part, the other side, slip stitch to join. And now you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and fasten off. But me, because I missed a stitch down here in this corner, I have to joke around, so I'm going to do a double crochet into that corner space to finish my corner and slip stitch to that stitch, which is so awkward, but I'm going to do it. Slip stitch, a nice snug one, there we go. And now I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. Pull your
your hook up and your yarn out, snug that down, you know how to do that. Now this tail I have to sew in because I'm in the wrong spot to even weave it in. So that one I have to sew. But now go try on your cardigan and get a feel for it if it's the right size or not. We're still adding on the sleeves and we're still going around the collar. So it fits great. We can just cut off our tails because we worked them all in. And now we're going to do the collar. So with your seam up or your join facing up, this will be the outside of our cardigan. A little bit before the join, put your hook in, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it back, slip stitch with both to join, drop your tail, wrap your yarn into that same stitch, make one double crochet, like that, and into each stitch going along one double crochet. And before you get going too far, you also want to put a stitch marker in to the top of that first double crochet, just so you know where it is when you're joining. So let's get to the seam. Now for this join, for this seam, we're going to be making one double crochet into each stitch, which are easy to see. So there's one and there's two. Now our next stitch is way over here, this guy, but we're going to make a stitch in the middle. So two double crochets on each side plus one in the center. So this seam is going to end up getting five double crochets. So I just poked my hook in that join, that center area, and I got two loops on my hook. I'm going to turn that into a double crochet. And now this stitch over here, this next guy, that gets a double crochet. And then just double crochet all the way back. So the center, these two double crochets, those two, and these two get one each, plus one in the center. So that join area ends up getting five in total, or add one when you get to this seam. This seam you're going to make a double crochet into. So now keep going all the way around, do the same thing on the other side, and I'll meet you at the join. One double crochet into your last stitch, and then slip stitch to where your stitch marker is. like that, a little slip stitch. We're going to chain one again. Now double crochet into the same stitch. And we can put, if you know your stitches, you don't have to put a stitch marker. But if you don't know your stitches, put a stitch marker just in the top of that double crochet that we just did. That's where we're going to slip stitch when we join. And we're not turning our work. We're just going to be going around making rows of double crochet in the same color for our collar. So um, it'll help it roll really nice. So we're just going to keep going until you have the collar thickness that you like. And I'll meet you back for this join actually so you can see uh, that this stitch down here that guy, let me see if I have a needle. This stitch is not a stitch. So this is going to be your last stitch on this side. You're jumping over this and slip stitching because that is just your slip stitch. It's not a stitch. But I'll show you when we get there. But keep an eye out for that. That could mess you up. So we go into our last stitch, which is that one. And now it can look like you have another stitch there, but you don't. That's the one you're going to skip. So now you're just going to slip, slip stitch straight where your stitch marker is, a small little slip stitch, and then a chain one. Take out your slip, your stitch marker, and wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the same spot. 
and put your stitch marker back. And you can see that gives us a nice tight join. There's no holes in it. That's what that little chain one does. It just kind of buffs it up a little bit and makes it a bit bigger. So now keep going one double crochet into each, no turning your work until your collar is just about as big as you want it to be. So I finished my five rows, two, three, four, five. And you can see my little join. I've slip stitched and chained one. So this last round for my sixth row, I'm going to turn my work. I want it all to roll and turn, but I want it to be a bit flat. So now I'm going to do the same thing, double crochet into the same stitch as my chain one, and then one in every stitch across back to join. Then we're going to join and be finished. And this will just help it not roll completely. It'll still curl, but this will help it um, just look like a really nice lapel. So keep going like this all the way back and I'll meet you when you get to here. At the end of this row, just slip stitch to join like usual. Chain one like usual. Get your scissors, cut your yarn, leaving enough to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that chain one down to secure so that makes a little knot. So now our lapel is finished. Let's see if I can show you. So there's the collar. You can see how it wants to like roll but then the last edge where we turned it stops it from totally rolling in. You just get a really nice um, a really nice edge, a really nice lapel. So that was making the sweater and doing the collar. Now all we have left to do are this armholes.